The night sky had always been my sanctuary. As a child, I'd spend hours gazing at the stars, wondering if someone or something was looking back. This fascination never left me. Instead, it grew, shaping my life and eventually leading me to a career in astrophysics. Despite my scientific pursuits, I never lost touch with my spiritual side. I found comfort in my faith, regularly attending church and feeling a deep connection to something greater than myself. I remember that autumn night vividly. I was driving home from a late night session at the observatory, my mind buzzing with the latest data we'd collected. The mountain road was dark and winding, illuminated only by my headlights and the faint glow of the moon. As I navigated the familiar route, my thoughts drifted to the eternal question that had driven my research for years. Are we alone in the universe? I was so lost in contemplation that I didn't notice the sharp turn ahead until it was too late. In a heart-stopping moment, I felt the car skid, my hands gripping the wheel uselessly as we careened off the road. The world spun around me as the vehicle rolled down the embankment. I remember the sickening crunch of metal, the sharp pain as my head slammed against the window, and then, nothing. As consciousness slipped away, my last coherent thought was a jumble of fear, regret, and an oddly persistent question about the existence of aliens. It seemed almost comical that even in what might be my final moments, my mind clung to the mystery that had defined my life's work. Then, everything changed. The pain vanished replaced by a sensation of weightlessness. I found myself drifting through what I can only describe as a tunnel of light. Colors I had never seen before swirled around me in mesmerizing patterns. It was beautiful and terrifying, unlike anything I had ever experienced or imagined in my wildest dreams. As I moved through this otherworldly passageway, I became aware of a presence beside me. I turned, though how I moved in this place I couldn't say and saw a figure bathed in radiant light. The warmth and love emanating from this being were palpable. Somehow I knew without a doubt that I was in the presence of Jesus. His appearance was both familiar and utterly alien, his features indistinct yet recognizable. An overwhelming sense of peace washed over me, dissolving any fear or confusion I might have felt. Welcome, my child, Jesus spoke, his voice resonating through my very being. I wanted to speak but found I didn't need to. My thoughts seemed to communicate themselves. Am I, um, am I dead? I asked hesitantly. Jesus smiled gently, a smile that seemed to encompass all the love in the universe. You are between worlds, Sarah. Your physical body is gravely injured, but your journey is not yet complete. As we continued to move through the tunnel of light, my mind raced with questions. I had so many things I wanted to ask, so many mysteries I hoped to unravel. But one question burned brighter than the rest, the same one that had occupied my thoughts in my final moments of consciousness. Jesus, I began, my thoughts conveying my curiosity and reverence. I've dedicated my life to studying the stars and searching for signs of life beyond Earth. I've always wondered, are there aliens, other intelligent beings out there in the universe? His expression was kind and understanding. The universe is vast and full of wonders, Sarah. My father's creation extends far beyond what you can see or imagine. My excitement grew. So their asterisk are asterisk aliens? Other civilizations? Life, in all its forms, is precious to us, Jesus replied. The cosmos teems with diversity, each planet and star system a unique expression of divine creativity. But remember, Sarah... The nature of that life may be beyond your current understanding. As we conversed, I noticed that we were passing through different realms or dimensions. Each seemed to hold infinite possibilities and realities. I saw glimpses of worlds that defied my scientific knowledge, planets with multiple suns, beings made of pure energy, and civilizations existing in ways I couldn't comprehend. It was overwhelming and exhilarating. But why haven't we found concrete evidence of alien life? I pressed, my scientific mind still seeking answers even in this extraordinary situation. Jesus' response was patient. The universe operates on a scale beyond human perception. 
time, space, and even the laws of physics as you know them are not constant throughout creation. Some civilizations exist in dimensions you cannot yet access or understand. My mind reeled with the implications. So our search for extraterrestrial life is just the beginning? Jesus finished. Your curiosity and wonder are gifts, Sarah. They drive you to explore and understand the magnificence of creation. But remember, there are truths that transcend scientific inquiry. As we continued our journey, I saw visions of my life, moments of joy, struggle, and growth. I relived my first night looking through a telescope, the day I decided to pursue astrophysics, and countless hours spent poring over data in search of that elusive signal from the stars. I realized that my passion for science and my faith were not at odds, but complementary paths to understanding the universe. Your work is important, Sarah, Jesus said, sensing my thoughts. Continue to explore, to question, and to seek knowledge, but also remember that the greatest mysteries of existence are often found within the human heart and in the connections we forge with one another. I felt a sudden pull, as if something was calling me back. The visions faded, and I found myself facing Jesus in a space of pure light. It's time for you to return, Sarah, Jesus said, his voice filled with love and encouragement. Your journey in the physical world is not over. Take what you've learned here and let it guide you. I wanted to stay, to learn more, to unravel the mysteries of the universe, but I understood. It wasn't my time. Thank you, I thought, feeling an overwhelming sense of gratitude. Jesus smiled once more. Remember, Sarah, the universe is full of wonders, but the greatest miracle is the capacity for love and understanding in every sentient being. Cherish this gift and share it with others. With those words, I felt myself being pulled back through the tunnel of light. The colors swirled around me, faster and faster, until suddenly I gasped, my eyes flying open. I was lying in a hospital bed, the steady beep of monitors filling the room. The pain from my injuries rushed back, but with it came a profound sense of peace and purpose. As I recovered over the following weeks, I reflected deeply on my near-death experience. The conversation with Jesus about aliens and the nature of the universe had profoundly impacted me. While I couldn't prove or disprove the existence of extraterrestrial life scientifically, I had gained a new perspective on the vastness and complexity of creation. My approach to work changed. I continued my research with renewed vigor, but now I approached it with a sense of humility and wonder. I understood that the search for extraterrestrial life was as much about understanding our place in the universe as it was about finding concrete evidence. In my personal life, I found myself more open to the mysteries of faith and the power of human connection. I spoke to others about my experience, not to convince them of anything, but to share the sense of awe and possibility I had gained. Months after my accident, I stood under the stars one night feeling a deep connection to the universe and its creator. Whether or not I would ever find scientific proof of alien life, I knew that the cosmos was far more wondrous and complex than I had ever imagined, and in that knowledge, I found both peace and endless inspiration for my continued journey of discovery. As I gazed at the twinkling lights above, I remembered Jesus' words about the diversity of life in the universe. I realized that my search for extraterrestrial intelligence had taken on a new dimension. It was no longer just about finding radio signals or biosignatures. It was about opening my mind to possibilities beyond my current understanding. I returned to my research with a renewed sense of purpose. I initiated new projects, exploring unconventional methods of detecting life and intelligence in the cosmos. I encouraged my colleagues to think outside the box to consider that alien life might manifest in ways we had never imagined. My experience also deepened my appreciation for the complexity of life on Earth. I began collaborating with biologists, studying extremophiles and unique ecosystems. If life could thrive in the most inhospitable environments on our planet, what marvels might exist on distant worlds? As my work progressed, I found myself becoming a bridge between the scientific and spiritual communities. I gave talks at universities and churches alike, 
sharing my story and the perspective it had given me. I emphasized the compatibility of faith and science, encouraging both sides to approach the great mysteries of existence with open minds and hearts. Years passed, and while we still hadn't found definitive proof of alien life, our understanding of the universe had expanded dramatically. New telescopes and technologies allowed us to peer deeper into space than ever before, revealing wonders that sparked the imagination of scientists and the public alike. Through it all, I never forgot my conversation with Jesus. His words about the greatest miracle being the capacity for love and understanding resonated deeply with me. I realized that in our quest to find alien life, we were also learning more about ourselves, our place in the cosmos, our responsibilities as conscious beings, and the interconnectedness of all creation. As I approach the twilight of my career, I look back on my journey with gratitude and awe. The question that has driven me all these years, are we alone, remains unanswered. But I've come to understand that the search itself, the wonder and curiosity that propel us to explore the unknown, is a profound expression of what makes us human. And so, I continue to look up at the stars, knowing that the universe holds mysteries beyond my comprehension. But now, alongside my scientific curiosity, there's a deep sense of peace. For in that brief moment between worlds, I glimpsed a truth greater than any scientific discovery, that love, consciousness, and the quest for understanding are the true miracles of existence, whether on Earth or in the farthest reaches of the cosmos.